Hi, my name is Brian from Denmark, your tech friend, and are you the proud owner of a Motorola Edge 20 or Motorola Edge 20 Pro? Then I got some bad news for you, and I advise you to smoke a peace pipe or enjoy some nicotine chewing gum whilst listening to this bad news. And just to get us in completely the right mood, a media file of This is the End by the Doors. Okay, so... The Motorola H20 and Motorola H20 Pro were released in August 2021. And following that release, Android Authority asked them how many years of software support will they get. And Motorola has replied, the update policy for the H20 series is that they receive at least two Android OS upgrades, which they have, and at least two years of bi-monthly security updates. And then you could think to yourself, plus one more year, one more year. But then I found this update on the Indian side of Motorola. The device launched on August 2021 and security updates will stop on August 2023 for the Motorola H20. What about the Motorola H20 Pro? Launched August 2021, security updates will stop on August 2023. Have you inhaled? Okay. <laughs> but this is just so sad because these two devices are excellent. You could argue, actually, that the price difference is way too much at what they're listed at today, at least. I bought the Pro version just recently for $150, so that's a bit of a bargain compared to the old prices here, right? But the value difference of these two guys is way too much to uh, pay because the, the, the H20 is such a good phone, whereas this is only a slightly better phone. You can just see it's got a better telescope camera and it's got a little more RAM and then it's got on paper at least a better CPU. In reality, I would argue they are approximately the same. The use experience on these two phones are exactly the same. They're both 6.7 inches and with exactly the same screen. So it's really, Basically the same phone, in my opinion, with only those small, small subtle changes. But what is it Motorola doing? Let me just show you this interest over time graph from Google Trends. And let me just stop the annoying background music, please. As soon as it passes half of its time on the media file, it's just plainly annoying. But look here, you can see the H20, that's the blue line. It's like double in popularity as to the H20 Pro, which is the red line, okay? And that is actually something that is also right up to the, this date and time, okay? And then came the H30, and you can see here it was the H30 release, enormously popular. The H30 Ultra is the green line, not so popular, but still pretty popular. And now the Motorola H40. But I'm going to speak to you about what phones are great in this lineup. Well, the 20 are now dead. And what it means to you if you are a 20 owner, it means that if you send personal information like via your mail accounts on these two phones, then these phones now are vulnerable to risk uh, attacks from hackers and evil-minded persons, and they will grab your personal information and use them as however they want to, because that is what software updates not being sent to a phone means. Okay, so you are very liable for a uh, risk of fraud and whatever, or even worse things that can happen when a phone not, doesn't get updated anymore. So please do understand it. The 20 line is now dead as its predecessor, the Edge and the Edge Plus from 20. 20, which were also great phones. They were perhaps even better than these two guys. But these two guys are also great phones. Only downside, I would say, to these two guys, the twin line was the mono speaker, right? That was a bit like, hmm. And then keep in mind that no Motorola phone is a camera phone. So just remember this. And I will just try and tell you right now which phone you should upgrade to. There's the H30. I've got that one also. Right here, it's my phone of the year 20. 22 and it looks pretty much the same actually as the 
20 right, it's just only a 6.5 inch screen versus the 6.7 inch screen of the 20. Of course, I would recommend the 30 when I named it phone of the year. And I'll show you this article. It's from Punica Web. It sounds weird, but they are reliable. Motorola is divided on how many updates will their uh, 30 Ultra get. And what it comes down to in this article is that the 30 Ultra will actually get three Android updates and four years of security. And mind you, that phone is from 2022. So you can do the maths. That means 2026, you can have the 30 Edge Ultra phone updated too. This is the Fusion, but it kind of looks like the Ultra. So that is a solid phone. I would actually recommend you to update to if you like Motorola and want to be in that environment and you come from 20. I would not re recommend the 40, uh, just the standard version, because I also got that one. It's such a disappointing phone. But then again, it's something to do with my expectations, loving some of the previous Motorola models. It's just such a massive letdown. I cannot recommend this phone. Also, it's a quite, quite a few scratches on the screen from like two weeks of use. I do not understand why. And a lot of complaints goes also to the back side of the phone that scratches very easily. The 40 Pro is actually a good phone, but it's just way overpriced. If it comes down to like four or five hundred dollars, I would buy the Moto Edge 40 Pro, which of course will be a good buy. But the 30 Ultra, if you can get that on sale, or this 30 Fusion, or just the plain old 30. I would also recommend these guys. These guys, if you can get them at Skampris, as it's called in Danish, <laughs> then these phones are a good buy and they will actually last you three years from 2022. That means so 2025, both of these phones will have you up and flying. It depends on what kind of design you like. This has got the flat edges, the 30, and this is more rounded edges, but I would say the phone in itself, it's again, it's like a comparison of the 20 and 20 Pro. It's pretty much the same. It's got a bit faster CPU, this guy, but it has been clocked down so it doesn't cause the rest of the phone to overheat, whereas this one is using the most brilliant 778 plus CPU. And that was actually the same CPU, the predecessor of the 778, that was in the H20. Brilliant overlooked CPU, just excellent for the superb mid-range phone okay just keep in mind you're not buying a motorola for a camera experience you're buying a motorola for the bang for the buck in my opinion i forgot to mention the 30 pro and the 20 light and the 30 neo the 20 light of course it also becomes obsolete and the 30 neo you don't want to go there but the 30 pro could be a consideration if you can get it at scum price because the security updates will end on February 2025, also according to Motorola's Indian page. My name is Brian from Denmark, your tech fan, and please do subscribe for more Motorola-related content. See ya.